dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. A representative or coordinator of the Fulani Nationalist Movement has passed a strong message to the Ondo State Governor, Akari Dolu, letting him know that he should be ready for war if the Fulani will leave the forest by all means. This is coming after governor, the Governor issued a quick notice to the Fulani headsmen giving them ultimatum of seven days to vacate their abode in the state. According to the statement released by Badu, Salisu, and Madu, West Africa Regional Coordinator for Fulani Nationalist Movement, he said it is a call to arms of the faithful who have been pursuing their legitimate business in the forest as their attention has been drawn to the quick notice issued by the governor and another incident whereby political talk led by Sunday Ibohu attacked the Fulani in Oyo State. Speaking on Sunday, or speaking on behalf of the Fulani people, Badu warned Ondo government and Sunday Ibohu to resign their orders or ready to face serious war. It was gathered that the Fulani operates under the ECOWAS protocol and they acquired the land legitimately. Badu also stated that no one has the right to drive the Fulani from their home in any state, if not the National Assembly or order from the House of Assembly. According to the letter, it says, Our attention has been drawn to a decree credited to one Rotimi Akari Dolu asking Fulani people who have occupied some forest in Ondo State to quit. We are also aware of another incident in Oyo State where an illiterate political talk gave quick notice to Fulani people to leave the territories which are now their irreversible homes. This is not only an irresponsible demand, but a call to arms of the faithful who have been pursuing their legitimate business in these forests. We have given a counter order. No Fulani will move an inch either in Oyo, Ondo, or any part of the western part of Nigeria. On behalf of the Fulani Nationalist Movement, we hereby warn the government of Oyo and its agents, one Sunday Iboho and the Ondo state governments to resign their orders or face serious consequences. It is shocking that the said Iboho and Akredolu who is a beneficiary of the system is given a stupid order that he knows no one will respect. We didn't get the forest through him and how does he expect Fulani to obey his empty order? If he had been shot during an attack on him, will he be alive to give orders? Humans have a short memory. The Fulani people in this forest acquired this land legitimately. The Fulani also operates under the ECOWAS protocol on free movement of persons. The people given the orders should know they do not have the capacity to enforce such orders. First, they are not the Nigerian police, neither are they the Nigerian army. The National Assembly has not given such 
not even the House of Assembly in the two states acquiesced to such irresponsible demand. The Fulani will resist by all means necessary, including armed resistance, any attempt to forcefully eject them from this forest that in reality does not belong to these states alone. Some are Federal Reserve Forests. We want to ask Akeridolu whether those communities brought, bought the lands from heaven. We warn that any one Fulani blood that is shed further in the southwest will automatically lead to upheaval in the six states of Lagos, Oshu, Oyo, Ondo, Ekiti, and Ogu states. We, the Fulani, are not red alert, are on red alert, I beg your pardon, and waiting for the call, and will never succumb to any threat or intimidation by ethnic bigots. I, Badu, Salisu Amadu, given my new responsibility, will with other faithful never fail the Fulani nation in its Allah chosen destiny. Signed. Badu Salisu Amadu, West African Regional Coordinator of the Fulanese. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Is it safe to say that they have declared war already or the war has uh, begun? Well, it is what it is. They are claiming that they bought the lands legitimately. Well, it remains to be seen what the end product of this particular news story will be, as it were. However, there are serious challenges as regards the ultimatum that was given to the Fulani headsmen to vacate the forest. The question is, did the governor err or go against the constitution he swore to obey when he issued the seven-day ultimatum for the Fulani headsmen to vacate the uh, said forest reserve or was he acting against uh, the constitution are uh, these Fulani men more vast in the constitution than the said governor and lawyer well it remains to be seen it remains to be seen what uh, the eventual outcome of this particular incident will be However, what are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular new story as it is? Do you agree with the Fulani people or headsmen, as it were, that the land belongs to the people, uh, the Fulani people, because they bought it legitimately and that no one can chase them out of the states? Well, it remains what it is, or it is what it is. They are now claiming that other southwest states will uh, feel the wrath of the Fulanese if the threats were eventually carried out. The question now is, how will they carry out these particular threats? Will the people of the southwest, you know, keep their fingers crossed and uh, watch how they engage the people and destroy their properties? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular new story as it were? What do you think will happen eventually? The seven-day ultimatum is, uh, expires today, and uh, it remains to be seen what eventually will be the uh, issue or the end result. We'll drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular new story as it were. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon. So you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.